rights that grip the nation is now back in the spotlight. A new docuseries on Peacock examines the case of baby Gabriel Johnson, who went missing from his Tempe home in 2009 after his mother took him to Texas. First, mom Elizabeth Johnson said she killed the baby. Then she said she gave him away to another couple. Neither story has been proven true and baby Gabriel is still missing. So a European filmmaker decided to try and get a closer look at the truth. True Crime Arizona's Brianna Whitney is one of the journalists who was featured in this docuseries, along with former reporters Mike Watkins, Pat McReynolds. Brianna, is there a possibility this docuseries could help crack open this case. I would say 100% absolutely. You just don't know what could happen and there's so many factors here. This series has the most information that's ever been out there on this case and the filmmaker was able to get some people to sit down for an interview who hadn't previously talked and they provided crucial information. This case is a well fabricated web of lies, manipulation, deceit and confusion and there's a baby missing at the center of it all who may still be alive. Where are you? Where's Gabriel? It began with calls like this. Elizabeth Johnson calling Logan McQuarrie in Arizona from Texas, saying she killed their baby Gabriel in December 2009. It sort of piqued my interest because on the surface, it seems like it's quite a simple story. But as you dig a little bit deeper, you realize that it is far from that. As filmmaker Thomas Leader peeled back the layers for this new docuseries, you realize there is no simple answer. I felt like that this story needed a longer format to fully, fully fill out all of the possible theories. Elizabeth eventually changed her story and told investigators she gave Gabriel away to an unknown couple in a San Antonio park in a black market adoption without Gabriel's father's consent. Elizabeth, will you now try to help find Gabriel? Elizabeth served prison time. A beautiful child. Vanish. Blink of an eye. But not for murder only for custodial interference and unlawful imprisonment. So what is anyone to believe? I don't believe that Elizabeth Johnson is guilty of murder. I don't believe she was capable of murder. And I don't believe that Gabriel was murdered. But San Antonio PD speaking for the first time ever about the case. Seems like she's gotten away with murder. Elizabeth Johnson never speaking again to Gabriel's family and media, but posting on Facebook in 2021, she was pregnant with a baby girl. I mean, here you have a woman who served prison time because her baby boy is missing and you're going to go forward and have another baby without ever telling people what happened to Gabriel. People couldn't fathom that. The filmmaker looked at a website of 15,000 missing persons cases and felt this case was the one that deserved a worldwide spotlight. Now you can decide for yourself, where is baby Gabriel. We can't give up hope that he's out there until there's conclusive evidence that he isn't. But I think certain theories in this documentary um, are credible that he could be out there. And that's the thing, anything could be true here. If he's alive, Gabriel would now be 14 years old. The three-part docuseries, Where is G Baby Gabriel, launched today and is now available to stream on Peacock. Guys. I mean, such a big case right here in Arizona. Yeah. A lot of talk about Elizabeth and even the manipulated, manipulation, 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 say it for me. <laughs> manipulation. Thank you for uh, the baby's dad, mm -hmm. Logan. So talk to me about that. Okay, so I think that baby Gabriel is alive. You do? I do. And I have watched this docuseries multiple times. I've reported on this case for years, and here's why. I have gone through all these different calls, mm -hmm. um, independently of this docuseries, that Elizabeth made to Logan, that she made to this woman named Tammy Smith, mm -hmm. who was bizarrely involved in this whole situation, which you'll, you can see in the docuseries. I think she was a master manipulator. She wanted to get back at Logan and, and, and cause him unrest by oh. saying the baby's dead. They had done this before. This was not the first time she had claimed this. She had notes, instructions written in her notebook of where to go to this park in San Antonio. Mm. And why else would she be going to San Antonio at a hotel in a park where black market adoptions were common? Mm. I just, I don't think she killed him. Mm. Now, who she gave him to, 
I don't know. Do they know that he's Gabriel? Are, are, yeah. are they feeling does guilty Gabriel about know? it? I mean, what does Gabriel know? Well, Gabriel know? wouldn't know. Yeah. But perhaps genetic genealogy or DNA could confirm. That's that's how I think this case will be solved. Mm -hmm. He is now 14. We know the explosion of genetic genealogy yep. and people submitting DNA to Ancestry.com and 23andMe. If he were to do that, it would be an automatic match to Logan McQuarrie's family because all of them have submitted their DNA to all of those databases. Mm -hmm. Well, you just think of how much uh, investigations have changed in yeah. those years and even your your story the other night about uh, the sister using TikTok to yeah, get stories. Right? I mean, social media, these docu series bringing up old cases. Really, they get a lot of traction. Yeah, especially on, on a network like this, yeah. a streaming platform like this. So you have to hope, but that's the only way I think it'll be solved. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to necessarily come forward. Gabriel was too young when he disappeared to know who yeah. he truly is. And, and you just wonder if he's out there. But of course, there are several people, yeah. including, I believe, San Antonio Police Department, that does believe he likely is wow. dead. So it, it's really difficult here. Oh, my goodness. Well, interesting to see what will come yeah. of this. Yeah, definitely. Brianna Whitney, I know you'll keep us updated. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.